We are back at our 10 by 15, $480 safe hoarding storage unit. We barely made a dent in there. We've already found three safes, one full of money, so there's gotta be more in there. Let's get back in there and find some more. We ended part two of this storage unit with a grand total of $1,110 found, so we're gonna start right there. Let's do it. Last time we ended, right when we discovered this cash box box in that metal, it looks like a lock box right underneath of it, so that's definitely our goal this time. And I also realized we never even got to this box. It has a safe on the front of it too, so there's so many possibilities of more safes in this unit, so I said we start digging. I'm gonna start pulling out some boxes over here first. I'm first today. Fine, be like that. <laughs> That means I get the safe box. No, you know what? I saw a lot of comments say they wanted you to do it, so this safe is all you. I know, they were like, well, let Amber have something exciting. All I get is the possible mouse boxes. Hey, there's no possible, <laughs> they're all possible mouse boxes. What do we have? It looks like more, uh, like a really, really random box. Hopefully Those are the most fun. Oh, all right, let's see, we have, this is some mail. I was making sure that wasn't an interesting piece of mail. I'm assuming in here is paperwork. Yeah, paperwork. Again, like we always say, we'll look at that stuff off camera. Ew. This is a big bag of bathroom stuff, all used it looks like. Ew. Set that aside. What are these? There's two easy feet things. Ew. No more bending to clean your feet. You know the whole time I thought those were Swiffer things, pads. <laughs> to put on your feet? No, like when I saw them in the box, it looked like Swiffer pad box. Oh, nope. All right, that's just the book. I was making sure there's nothing in there. But look at this. The 1996 Olympics torch relay, and it has three pins. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Oh, there's a COA with it, too. Nice, and this is sealed. Sweet, that's kind of cool. Cool, that is cool. Set that aside. What's in this bag? Now, let's put this up here. What do you see? I don't know. It looks like all staples now that I like, actually yeah. look at it. Yeah, it's all staples. You thought it was ammo, didn't you? <laughs> I thought Something. it was ammo. Thought it was something more interesting than that. Here's a bag. Let me bring this up here. All right. What All right. Got? Let's see if we have anything in, uh, interesting or random or valuable in here. What do we got? We have some pill containers, some more bathroom stuff. Why is there so much bathroom stuff? I know. There's like a weirdly amount in this. That doesn't even make sense, but oh well. <laughs> I see syringes down there. Watch your hand. Where? Right there. Yeah, they're, they're down there, just watch okay, your hand. Okay, okay. Yeah. Is that empty? No. All right, that is, yeah, all bathroom stuff. Let's get this bag out what now. Is that one? Ew, I see mouse duty down there. I do. Hey, look, money. Oh, it's shredded up. $150 shredded up. What the heck? Why would you shred $150? You know, I, I had this before. They yeah. give it to you at in D.C., the, muse, the place where they make the money at. Well, Oh, Your, I can read. <laughs> engraving and printing, Washington D.C. Yeah, that's cool. Nice. I'll put that's that cool. In cool one. I just like there? saw the corner of my eye, and I was like, "That looks like money." What is Good it call. here? Uh, some toothpaste. Yeah, more bathroom stuff. Gross. <laughs> what do they have? Twenty-five bathrooms in their house? I guess so. More What's paperwork or coupons. Uh, uh, I mean, some paperwork again. Look through it in a second. <laughs> What's in this box? You'll never guess. Bathroom stuff. More bathroom stuff, yay. That looks suspect. What is this? I don't know. Uh, please pull me off. No idea what that is. S some kind of, I don't know, something, some bathroom thing. All right. <laughs> um, what is this? An old toothbrush. It's bathroom junk. Yep. And that thing is over here. We have a lot of bags in here. I know, so far it's all been bathroom. <laughs> Razor. Gosh, like three razors in there. I mean, it's still sellable stuff, so we'll take it, but. Yeah. Uh, here's some phone cases. What is that? Another one. Another one. And a boot and a couple more random things down there, but just for yard too. So these two boxes just came tumbling down off of here, so we're just gonna go ahead and go through those two first. This uh, has writing on it, so I'm gonna guess it's resealed but it just has a name and it just says 2016. You know how many things can be from 2016? It could be a currency collection from 2016. It could be the speaker system that's supposed to be in the box. Okay. It could be more <laughs> bathroom stuff. God. How much does one person own? I have 
a deodorant, a bottle of shampoo. That's my bathroom stuff. Besides like a toothbrush and that stuff. But the stuff that goes in the bath, tub, that's it. What is this? Breathing stuff. I feel like we find that in almost every unit too. Let's see, bathroom, bathroom. This box is... What the heck? Oh, the part of the breathing machine. It's two pieces to the same breathing machine. So let us put that in here. Look at all this. It's just bathroom galore. So yeah, we're not gonna dig in that no more. So tempting to touch that Honeywell box, but I'm gonna make myself wait. Let's see what's in the white box first, right here. Ugh. What do you think? If it's bathroom, I'm punting it over three buildings that way. I'd wanna see that actually, so I hope it's bathroom. <sighs> Let's, why would you hope it's bathroom? That's so mean. So I can see you punching. Another razor. Razor number 12. Uh, whatever this is. Spray bottle. The way they kept it in a bag like that kind of made me suspicious. Is that like a sugar or salt thing? I'm kind of scared to reach into these boxes. Makeup. Is that a phone? What is this thing? Open up, you. <laughs> Nothing. More makeup. So in here. Just a bunch of meh, old food and dishware. But there's a laptop charger, which I'm gonna take out in case we do come across a laptop without a charger. So I kinda wanna go through this box right here in the middle before I go over there. All right. Just because it's in the middle and I want it out. Is that Looks, beer? Is this a beer? Well, it's a beer <laughs> box, uh -oh. but what is it in there? Bathroom stuff. They had to have 12 bathrooms. They had to have. Oh my gosh. Is this a whole box worth of bathroom? It looks like it. Actually, now we have vegetable juice. That can be used in a bathroom. <laughs> That's how creative be. you are. All right, let's bring this tote out and see what's in here. See, hopefully it's not all bathroom stuff. Make sure these are all pills. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Move these. We have some combs and rollers. I mean, overall bathroom stuff. Yes. Some person that passed away. The little pamphlets you get. Some family pictures. I just want to make sure I don't see like a jewelry box in here. No. Anything else? All right, down here we have more bathrooms. Can I find something other than bathroom? This is like cleaner. It's all crap. Next big box over here. Let's see what we got. And it's falling apart. Falling Great. Apart. This is going to be the one. The one what? That's not bathroom. All right, let's see. Let's Hopefully. find out. Oh, I see food. That's not good. This is going to be the mouse box. No, don't say that. I see food. Okay, so we have a jacket. This is going to be the one. Stop it. <laughs> we have a Belvita box. That's all gone. Yep, all gone. <laughs> they chow down in here, man. Yeah, There's they some did. obese mice somewhere. So I don't want to find it. I really don't. Me neither. So You're like, the one there, and I'd still run faster than you will. <laughs> Probably. But, like... I'm looking all in here. I see it like these Skechers um, shape up some off-brand Uggs. I mean, they're all women's shoes and usually like women's dress shoes don't sell for much, but I yard mean, sale. Yeah, they're all, definitely good yard sale stuff. Uh, Anything else? The shoes. Yeah. Remember how the other day we found the dead mouse? I think I know why. You see this right here? It's bug killer. It's not meant for mice and it says insect killer, but on the back, it's been chewed through in multiple spots. So I guarantee there's probably a few mice in here. They got a mouthful of poison and well, we all know what happens after that. I think because everything's in these slick black bags, we keep having avalanches. So we had a bunch of junk fall over again. Most of it was trash, but this right here appears to be brand new in box. It's a Vizio 2.1 soundbar system. And it has, as you can see, both pieces there, still factory sealed, so I don't really know what it goes for. Brand new like ours was, this is actually selling for $150 plus shipping, not bad. And this stuff fell out, I didn't wanna go through it until we were on camera, just in case something happens. Let's see what's in there, and there's a Bible, you know, this might be the time to find them. at least a dollar in the Bible, so I can at least know that there's proof it's out there. What is this, happily ever after, is it a gift card? It's a Walmart gift Walmart card. Walmart gift card. Okay, that's their actual card. I'm gonna put this in my pocket, let's hope. And this is a little MK Michael Core wallet. Anything in there? Another gift card maybe? That is, no, it's an actual Visa. Can't use that. Anything else? What about this middle section? No, nothing, nothing, nothing. That's all right. This is all, these are all face masks. You don't need to look in there. All right, let's see. Is this the magic holy Bible that's gonna have money in it for the first time ever? It, oh, what is that? No, that's just a pastor's thing. 
and nothing in there. It's gonna happen one day. It's gonna happen one day. This is what excited me. I just don't know how heavy these are supposed to be because this box has weight to it, but I know how they make Apple boxes. They're all stupid heavy. But, but I also don't know why they would rubber band it if nothing was in true. there. That's true, but it is an Apple watch. Let's see if that's in there. Some of those can be, oh, for the first time, this is the first time in storage unit history that Apple Box had what was supposed to be in it inside of it. Let's make sure it's not a random brand. Uh, where? No, Apple Watch. It says it on the back. It's really small. You're nice. not going to be able to focus on it. But I have no idea if this is an older one. Well, I don't do Apple, so I don't know if this is older, newer, anything like that. But it does have a barcode we'll be able to scan on it, so that's definitely cool. The last Apple Watch to sell this, the same model as ours, sold for $220 with just a different band. So that could be half of our storage unit back just about right there. Let's see, this is the last box that was closed. Ugh. I don't like the cardboard boxes in this unit. If a mouse jumps out, still love me, guys. Still love me, even though I'm gonna run and scream. Uh, oh, the VH, oh, a wrestling VHS. I've always told the WWE in horror movies are the VHSs you want to look for. So this is an old um, Stone Cold Demolition, and it is old WWF even, before it was WWE. So that could definitely be worth something. This is sealed. I don't know. Should I just rip it? Yeah, I cut it. We have a knife. Yeah, I'll cut that in a second. Let's go through and look at all these lunch boxes. I think I know somebody that might want these. Pat, Pat D, you watching this? You're my lunchbox guy. Might have a present for you. Mr. Potato Head, Boris and Natasha. Look at the little mad one. Mad TV. Uh, ow. Monopoly. There's a lot of them. What's this a lunchbox? It's a lifesaver box. Lifesavers. Uh, Titsy Rolls. It looks like there's one more in there. The last one in there is a uh, Hasbro Gold Bear. So a bunch of lunch boxes. Now let's go over here and cut open that little box because I got to know. First, we got to go right here. Thank you. And here's our knife. You like my knife? Doesn't you have a tip on it? Yep. It's the one that we broke in another storage unit trying to open something. I'm pretty sure so it was safe. <laughs> it probably wasn't safe. Let's see what was in this little box here. Come out. Come out. Oh, Scooby Doo. Or Shaggy holding Scooby. Oh, uh, look. A little ball of these used to come in the, I'm pretty sure, Frosted Flakes cereals or something a long time ago. That little thingy, horse, um, Tigger, Cowboy, what else is in there? Something else in there. A uh, little Pink Frog and a little Winnie the Pooh figure. Do they have dates on the bottom? They don't, they just say Disney on them. So hey, those could be cool and collectible too. I didn't even notice this in the lunchbox box. There's this little um, Ringling Brothers, Barnum and Bailey thing. And if you slide it out, it comes out of this little envelope here. And then inside of it, there's this little thingy. And it has a little coin to commemorate the circus. I went to that circus a lot of time when I was young. So that's pretty cool to see. Before I pull this tote with the cash box and possible safe in there, make sure you like the video and subscribe if you're new because we buy storages all the time. I like how you got that line down. Thank you. <laughs> All right, come on. This is kind of heavy. Because it's got just tons of coins in it. Ooh, what's that behind it? Is that a chest or something? I guess we'll figure it out. Yeah, I guess we will. All right, first, I don't want to touch that. I want to see what's in these shoe boxes. Well, so we have a Michael Kors sandal. It's pretty new. Yeah. Nah. I was about to say the top looks worn, but the bottom doesn't. It's probably just Why got that crap on it from the unit. Yeah. All right, so we'll just pull these out. Then we have two Jason Smith box. Those look kind of new. Yeah. Right here, Jason Smith. Pull that out. Ugh. Or that's going straight to the garbage. Yes, it is. Ew. Go Stupid away. mice. I know. God. Stupid mice. people putting food in units. Should I grab that now? Just go for it. Okay. What? Oh. oh. Okay. This is empty. However, it could still be in a unit. Yeah. So I'm not fretting about that right now. That. This is a cash box. Is it? Is that what it's supposed to be? Look at it. That's exactly what that looks There's like. I mean, in it. oh, okay, let's do it. You think it'll open? open? It now? Let's open it. Is it gonna open? Oh, oh looks like you're gonna. Oh no, never mind. I thought you were gonna have to break it. Uh, let's see it. Yeah. One, two, three. What is it? Okay, let's see. Let's see. What? Are, hey, is this the key? Probably. Yeah, I yeah. feel like that's the key. <laughs> okay. What is this? Frederick Douglass. Hmm. Let's pull this out. I see Whoa. something else about Frederick Douglass. This is, looks like an old newspaper, but is it really old? I think that's a... Like a reprint? Yeah, it's from thing. 1852. There's no way it'd be in that kind of shape yeah, from 1852. So that from Frederick Douglass, this is like a kid's book of Frederick Douglass. 
Uh, this is a little thing on him as well. This also, so this is like a little Frederick Douglass collection. Okay, that's kind of cool. All right, nothing in those. And then we have like a postcard picture. That's and cool. then I guess some family pictures when they went to some museum, I'm sure. All right. So that was a cool cash box. I mean, no money, but you know. So what this is, is supposed to have a vacuum in it. Um, we have some coloring books, some paper, a dog finger toothbrush. Ooh, there's a card. A card, let's see. With money, obviously. Bang. Aw. <laughs> no money. Anything um, else looking good? Let's see, nothing in there. What the heck is that? Oh, Ew. it's a flintstone thing. Gross. Ew. Anything right. to do with feet. There's a lot of stuff down here. It just all looks kind of gross, but we'll see. This is a whole bag of cards. All right. All right, let me pull out a couple of these. See, see let me pull one from the middle. Oh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> the one you choose. The one is the hand-drawn one. Okay, that's it. those unused ones? Might be unused ones. Let's try this one. No. no. I'll right. pull out one more. Let's do this one. Dang it. No. All right. Cards. This has nothing in it. Ooh, I like the sound of that. What the heck? Okay, randomness, but just paper clips, tweezers, a monkey. <laughs> Don't you always just gotta wonder? I know. Why is that in there? Right. Um, let's see, over here, see some cookbooks. There's a, what are these? Oh, thesaurus. Yeah. <laughs> thesaurus, there's some books right there. Anything on the other here, side? Over here, have a couple shoes. Uh, shoes over there. On Come on. Side. There's a lot to move. Uh, this looks like one of those hospital bags, but it feels heavy. What do you think's in there? Uh, papers. <laughs> I was hoping it wasn't going to be papers, but that's all it is. So. I mean, there's more papers. Let's see if I can get under all the papers. What is that? What's this? Nothing. Maybe a lipstick container? That would be my guess. All right. Hmm. What's under? Oh, there's a lot of like uh, coloring books, brand new things of envelopes. One more side. And then I think we're good with this one. Yeah. More of the same. This thing's been sitting here for a while. So let's see if this tailgater flash sound thing is in there. It's gotta be. Okay, yep. right off the top we have a bag. Well, Ugh. I no. wanted to see a speaker. Doesn't look like a speaker to me. All right, so that's a bunch of paperwork. I'll just file down here. Let me make sure. I don't know why I love envelopes. Because they just feel like they're gonna have money in them. I know. So this is just more paper. Wait, there's another envelope in here that feels thick. There it is. 10 G's. <laughs> paperwork. Dang it. I was hoping. Right. That's where the cash box is buried. All the way in the bottom? Yes. All right, I'll try to get to the bottom. I just try. <laughs> I was gonna say I'll try, but there's like books. There's tons of books. This is construction paper? Mm. Yeah, I shop. think it's all paperwork, isn't it? It looks like it. Let me give it one more try down here. Yeah, it's paperwork and then like towels. Now we can actually see that this is the box for a Honeywell safe. So fingers crossed there. So let me get this TV out before I tackle this monster mountain of black bags. It's another nice one. Let's see what this is. This is Insignia and a model number 32 inch. The 32 inch TV. 32 inch TV, nice. Nice flat screen. Nice. The only way that I know how to tackle this is based My on method? Your, yes, your method. My method's so, scientifically proven to be best. It is. I'm gonna pull <laughs> this one and run. Now I'm gonna step back so you have room to run. Alright, one, two, three. Well. Whoa, something glass broke. It looks like this little um, pitcher thing. So There's I a sweep that up with the broom that the unit was so nice to give me. That's a dollar yard sale gone now. We're not gonna financially recover from this. I know. Literally every single one of those bags that just fell is kitchen food. Like seriously, pork pankos, spices, cereal, and all this crap that's all bitten in through mice. So that those bags, straight to the garbage. Let's see what's in the little Huggies box. This time it is Huggies. Remember last time I said it was Huggies and it was something else? This time I'm right. Let me get my stupid broken knife out. Let's see, what's your guess? Well, I see playing cards. Okay, so at least that means it's not Oh my gosh, I'm about to say it means it's not bathroom, but no, they got Dove in here too. These people love their bathroom stuff, man. 
Uno. Hey, look, from Second and Charles. SpongeBob Uno. I love that store. And Uno. Want some gum? No. Oh, come on. Chew it. It's infused with extra flavoring <laughs> called mouse droppings. Dude, I just got something on my finger. I don't know what it was. Uh, this is pixels. The rest of it is gross bathroom, and I'm gonna go use hand sanitizer. Next box has the buffet's ink on it. Let's see what's in here. Mashed potatoes. Oh, cool, yay! All right, these are storage containers. That's a custom mouse pad, it's like a personal thing. Uh, storybook, Ooh. a little Redskins jersey. A little 89. one. Moss, kids Moss. jersey. Yeah. Uh, next we have, hey, this is Stone Cold. Stone Cold, Steve Austin, to go with the VHS we found. Yep. Uh, hardcore collection, so it's actually like WWF, oh, WF, like licensed t-shirt. Ooh. Let's have something on the back. Professional hardcore wrestler. <laughs> so if I check sold listings, none of these shirts have actually sold, but there's currently only two listed on eBay, one for $70 and one for over 200. So I would assume it's worth at least $50. Nice. When I see a Stone Cold thing, it just instantly glass breaks in my head. So here's another one. Ooh, Michael Jackson. Rip Michael Jackson. Yeah. And this one has fat dog, fat dog on it. Oh, I don't know about that dog. one. This is a mom t-shirt. This one has SpongeBob and Patrick on it. And Galaxy, that's yours, right? <laughs> it could and be, a yeah. cat. And a cat. A cat and SpongeBob and Galaxy? Your totally shirt me. made. It's a cool color. What does it say? Capital, Capital of the, the North. North. Shang Mai. All right. So probably just like a tourist shirt. Hey, a North Face beanie. <laughs> nice. Then we have a Redskins beanie that has tags on it still. Nice. $22. $22 yep. Something else that has a tag on it. Another Redskins. Redskins hat. Nice. Is that a price? Oh. 10 bucks. $10. But still. Yeah. Their logo's gone now, so. San Francisco beanie. I want to see what all these hats. I want to make sure they're not all Redskins. I feel like my grandpa had that. <laughs> all right. What are all these? So well. we have Redskins, Washington Nationals. Dogs. Dogs. I don't know what that is. Uh, NASCAR and 49ers, and that's it. I have some sad news. So the white box that had the Honeywell thing on it, you can see in here, it's just kitchen utensils. You know what I think I noticed too? Huh. That looks awfully similar to the first safe we busted open that had the money in it, so. Well. Probably the box of that one. Probably. Next box here. Let's get it over to the tailgate. Whoa. It looks like oven mitts on top. No? No? Like makeup, this is like a makeup bag. An apron, another makeup bag. All right, makeup bag. I see some wallets down here too though. I'm trying to, oh, sorry camera, sorry. <laughs> It'll be okay, do you guys forgive her? I hope, please. I hope. All right, let's see if we have any like good brands on here. Cause the top parts are just makeup bags. I'm. I don't think they make like good brand makeup bags. Again, no another makeup idea. bag. I mean, okay, here's a wallet. Let's see what's in this one. It's kind of thick with two thick C's. It's the money. All right, this is Ox, oh, XOXO, New York. This one, do I do this? You're not getting open. Oh, there oh, you are. It's a nice wallet. Yeah. No brand on it though. What about this one? No. No brand. I need a brand. I don't see any brands on any of these. Well go to this side because money yeah well, well it's like the paperwork there's like a lot in here and i don't want to bore yeah. you guys with like going through every pocket so yeah. i just kind of look for brands open a few see if we can get lucky nothing very rarely find money in a wallet nothing. yeah especially like these i mean i would hope that you know they just kind of slipped their mind and left a little hundo in there but yeah that'd all be right nice. i'll check one more and that'll be this one Oh, there's a dog the picture. Yeah. Yeah, nothing in there, but there's quite a few down there, so we have to check these. So I pulled a little smush box out from the unit, and I saw this in there. It has plastic on it, and it's brand new with the tags, but I've never heard of this brand. So if you guys could help me out. K Cliffs. But it's a nice, like, rolling suitcase with the handle. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Or a backpack. Nice. Big black bag here, really heavy, so I have no idea what's in there. Jeez, you know what it is? Huh. 6,000 mice. No, don't say that. <laughs> it's gonna be like a horror movie. Ooh. I see an MCM bag. Yeah, so do I, right off the bat. Hey, all right, let's see. That looks pretty good. Nice condition, actually. Yeah. Some stuff in it. Just some crap. Yeah, but I mean, it's clean. The bag's nice, yeah. Inside's clean. Don't they have a Sweet. thingy in here? 
it have a heat stamp? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, good. Uh, this serial number, MCM. Nice. nice plate here, and then there's also a tag right here. Nice. That might be authentic. It might be. Sweet. All right. When I punched in MCM and that serial number on eBay, these are the sold listings I got, which are pretty high priced. If anyone knows how to authenticate them or thinks they look real or fake or has any tips, please sound off and let us know in the comments. Nice. All right, let's see. Oh, Michael Kors. Okay. Okay, okay. I feel like I got to take my gloves off for this one. As soon as you do that, mouse. Ugh, I'll say that. <laughs> All right, Michael Kors. It says Michael Kors here. Nice inside too. Yeah, look, look at that. that. Nice and clean, Michael Kors there. And I'm gonna try to show you guys as much detail as I can because I don't know how to authenticate any purses. But uh, I see this tag nice. right here. I don't know if you can zoom up on it. Kinda, you can kinda right. see it. So those are two nice. nice ones. And then, what is this one? Looks like a beach bag. Yeah, it just looks like a normal tote bag. Yeah. I mean, I think this whole thing is full of purses, baby. Baby. Baby again. I don't know about the price on those. Let's see. Louis. Coach or Louis? No, Why did I, I say coach? I don't know. I know the difference. I think we found what? One Louis to be real out of like 600 found? There's a little heat stamp thing. All right, does it have a tag in there with a the number? I don't see a tag. Somebody told me that Louis real ones use the same piece of fabric. So you see on this side how the L or VL is right side up? That would mean on this side, it would be, have to be upside down in order to have used the same piece of leather. So that's a good sign. All right. So this one looks kind of weird on the outside. What is this? Ooh. T-Rex. The dinosaur. Oh, oh. 12 soulful Christmas and the rest is empty. All right. And then this brand is Universal Thread. All right. And I think I that see a Louis? another Louis and another MCM. Nice. Did we just find the jackpot in this unit? We might have. What is this? Oop, that's an account. Oh, hotel. checking, checking account balance. How much do they have? It doesn't say an amount. Oh. Uh, there's your little see stamp. This right here. Yeah, and there's and your stamp. Up here. Yeah, and check the leather again. Check the leather. You see again, this side the uh, LV is right side up, so the other side it should be upside down. Turn it out. Oh, see, that's not a good sign. Huh. But it's two different kinds of fabric, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay, so well, that might be light why. And one's not. Okay, maybe that's why. Purse people, please correct me. I'm a male that doesn't carry purses. Well, that had stuff in it again, but. There so we go. Another MCM. It looks the same. It looks like the same bag. It really does. All right, but this one's clean still. Nice. Gold thing with the serial number and the little tag over here. Sweet. Yeah. I'm just going to clean it out a little bit. All right. Nice. All right, let's see. Do we have any other good brands in here? This seems heavy duty. What is it? What is it? What brand is this? A day, a new day. I never even heard of that. I've never at that. heard of that. There's some paperwork in here. Throw that aside. And see if I can rip it a little more. You got this. <laughs> What's the female equivalent of me screaming Hercules? I don't uh, know an equivalent. I have no idea. Uh, kale, kale, kale. <laughs> kale. <laughs> if you don't know what that is, it's from Dragon Ball Super. Sorry. Uh, this is a little wallet. This is a day new too, so maybe it goes with that maybe. purse. Maybe. Well, it's not the same color. I don't know. Might be a set. How much more purses should I pull out? Maybe if I, I see know. a good you brand, pull move it out. around, look for you. All right, Louis, we have some MCM. Sharpies, multi-tool. Nice. Pills. All right, can you see in this bag? If yeah. Move stuff around. Okay, here. Are they? These are time and true. They're Walmart clearance. All right. Well, there's some you can still use them. Yeah. Still good yard stuff. Though. And down here, we have this bag, which is full of paperwork. So I'll put that out. And then here's a Michael Kors wallet. Everything else down there is closed. All right. But I found these two. Little SpongeBob Beanie Baby. Nah, yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah, yeah. This is a new day as well. And Michael Kors. That's nice. This is nice. I mean, at least all these like name brand stuff is like clean. Yeah, that's like the really best clean. Thing. All right, one more pocket. Nice. Oh, nice, nice bag. Got a lot of value in purses here. Fun turn of events here. I try to lift this heavy bag of clothes out of here. This falls on me. I've spent the last two days here thinking this is a shoebox. It hit me. 
It's not Heavy. a shoebox, it's rock hard. If this is another safe, I'm gonna be blown away. Let's see what in the heck this thing is. Cause it just cracked me and it didn't feel very good. Oh, no, that's not a safe. Is it a record player? It is, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, it's an old record player, I think. Let's get the bag off of it so we can see. Get off, you stupid bag. All right. And it's got Motown Christmas to it. The only other thing in there is the plug. Huh, I thought it was going to be like a jewelry box or a safe, but they'll still take one of these. These are still sell for a decent amount. I bet you that's no less than 50, 60 bucks at a minimum. That's my guess. This big tote right here next. A lot of randomness. Jesus, heavy. Oh. So, on the top. Pair of Crocs? No. Walmart. Walmart Crocs. Uh, sheets. Don't care. Don't care about sheets. Go away, sheets. More Unless we're talking about the gas station. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so this right here seems brand new. Ceramic styler dryer. Nice. nice. Some baby magic, some pills, it's lotion. Whole thing of liquid hand soap refills. <laughs> okay, this is a cleaner tote, so that's good. Some medicine, training pads, more purses down here. Well, I think what? I see another MK. Where? In the corner, right? Oh, right here. Okay. I pointed with my toes. <laughs> so we have a pair of Nike shoes here, nice. which they're nice. 537681-800 Nikes. That'll help me later. Yep. A uh, thing of earrings. Whole All thing right. of earrings. Definitely set that aside. Here's a whole bag of bangles and bracelets. What's a bangle? These things. No, I thought it was a tiger. <laughs> well, I mean, the bangle's a type <laughs> of bracelet, I think. Uh, sensitive extra whitening toothpaste. What is that? SpongeBob! SpongeBob! Check him out. Is he a bank? He's oh. a bank! He's got money oh, in him. Oh, he's got a lot of money in him. What should I do with him? I don't want to break him. Does he have a hole in his behind? He does. All right, let's empty him out. At least see what's in there. Eh. Hopefully silver coins. Somebody right. tells me. Where this... should I dump him? I don't know. Let's put him on the truck. All right. Ready, Dump SpongeBob out. SpongeBob's going to poop out. Hey, it's actually Mick. I thought it was going to be all pennies because this person left pennies for some reason. Dang, Spongebob pooping money. Have you ever seen Spongebob poop money anywhere else? I doubt it. Alright, I think that's it. Man. Hey, look, nice. a bicentennial quarter. Hey. The bicentennial. That's a lot of quarters, though. A lot yeah. of silver. Oh, this one looks like it could be. Ah, uh, 1971. So does this one. 74. Dang it. <laughs> but hey. Nice. Well, that's a good start. That's a lot. At least five bucks, I'd say. All right. So I got to count that later. I want to know how much that is. Yeah. All right. Let's get back in here. Nice fire fun box. So the right side of the unit seems to be the nicer side. Yeah, it definitely <laughs> does because it's not nasty. Yeah. So we have this first purse, Victoria's Secret, just like a tote bag, uh, random bags, guest bag, which I know aren't expensive, right? No, I don't think, I think so. They're inexpensive. No. Here's a remote. Maybe they're one of the TVs. Maybe. Steve Madden. That's decent. Baby bay again. Baby, bay. it makes me think of South Park. Yeah. So this one is Steve Madden again. Nice. Nice. What is TH? Tommy Hilfiger? Probably. Did we say that the last video? Yeah, Tommy yeah. Hilfiger. <laughs> nice. I'm learning. MK. Michael Kors. Nice. It looks really There's... nice on the inside again. Yeah, it is. I can't open it any more than that, That's but good. I see the heat stamp and I don't see a tag, but I could be missing it. All right. A lot of weight on it, though. It's heavy duty. This is Calvin Klein, pretty sure. Yeah. Clean on the inside. Nice. Again, don't know if that's real. North Face book bag. Is it full? Let's see. It feels light. Oh. Let me just peek in there. Peek in the main part real quick. Come on, full of money. Dang it. Empty. Hey, there's Dang Coach, it. I think, too. Is right it? Here. Is that a Coach? Yeah, it looks like it, coach. doesn't it? I see the stamp too. There we go. There's the stamp on the inside. Boom. Coach and first. And the serial number at the bottom. Nice. All right. What else we got? This little snake skin. It looks right. like it. I didn't see a brand in that one. Oh, is that a Louie again? No way. And this has like darker handles. I wonder if that means anything. This one looks pretty beat up too. Of course. And no stamp. Uh, I mean it has that. Uh, icons going the same way. 
No. Yes. Oh yeah, you're right. If you follow it all the way around, it doesn't yeah. change. Huh. Huh. It might just be beat up one. Yeah. I mean, just because they're expensive doesn't make them immune to life. Oh, Jan Sports. <laughs> a little regular book bag. That one. Let's go all the way at the bottom. What? This is Guess. It's annoying because right. Guess and Gucci look similar. No, this is Gucci. Hey, really? Yeah. It says nice. Gucci on the inside. Yeah, there's the stamp. Gucci made in Italy. Nice. Nice. And that was not bad. That was a weird timing. I oh, know. <laughs> <laughs> this is Versace. Really? Yeah, look at that. Versace too, man. Yeah, nice brand purses in here. Nice. That one's not bad either. Oh, uh, what else is here? there? What is this one? What's the other this one that's expensive? No. Tony uh, Birch. Burt, yeah. That's no, the only I one know we're what missing. that one looks like. Okay. Um, this is Fendi. Nice, that's good too. Nice. I can't tell if it's supposed to. Yeah, it looks like it's supposed to be like that. Fendi. Sweet. Anything else? And let's see, this seems to be like the last one down there. This is Universal Thread, which we found in the other bag. No idea how much money we just found in designer purses and the actual cash in SpongeBob. Man, I know there's a safe back here with money in it. I just know it, and you're gonna have to subscribe and make sure you come back next time to see it. Peace out.